Hey everybody, welcome back to another Hocus Pocus Magic Review. My name is David and this is Over the Edge from Landon Swank. What is Over the Edge? Over the Edge is a DVD, it's a video instruction tutorial, tons of teaching about how to use an edge marked deck in your gambling and card proficiency routines. You wanna see the trailer? This is it. All right, so that was Over the Edge, Land and Swank. This is being brought to you from Hydra Entertainment. Uh, the DVD is roughly two hours long. Okay, it's two hours long uh, in teaching. It costs about $40, and I would say this is for an intermediate level magician. All right, you order this in the mail, what are you gonna get? You're gonna get a real live DVD, okay? A real live DVD. Uh, and then you're also gonna get a deck of cards. Now you're gonna wanna use the B Casino Back, okay? The full bleed edged uh, cards that have markings all the way to the edge, okay? So no white borders. No white borders, you want your red or blue edges to be on the sides, back, top, everywhere. Uh, when you do order this, you will get the option to purchase a red deck or a blue deck. All right, so just some FYI, just so that you know and are in full awareness, uh, you will have to mark the deck yourself, okay? So you will need to go through the video, watch it, and I would say watch it first. Watch it first so that you know where all these marks go and that you're not gonna be confused about it at all in any way. Because the thing you don't wanna do is make a mark and have it be wrong and then that card is ruined, okay? So you're gonna watch this all the way through, make sure you get all your questions answered. Then you're gonna go back through and mark your entire deck. That's right, all 52 cards have to be marked by you, okay? So just know that going in, it's probably gonna take you about an hour. Okay, about an hour or so to do this from beginning to end, but then once you have it, you'll have a marked deck of cards that'll do miracles. Now, a lot of times when uh, you have a marked deck, people who haven't purchased it yet or haven't seen it yet, questions they ask are, you know, how inspectable is it? Is it gonna fly by your spectators? Are they gonna notice it? Because they wanna know if these marks are gonna stand out. You know, what are the angles like on a marked deck. I would say these are perfect. These are really super duper clean. Um, I think the only way the markings stand out really boldly is when the deck is in new deck order, okay? But when it's shuffled, which, you know, Landon does all of his tricks by giving the deck out and allowing the spectator to shuffle the cards. So just know that going in, these are full shuffled tricks, okay? Once the deck is shuffled, the spectator will never see a thing. They won't even know what to look for. It won't look like anything. The only person that's gonna recognize these markings are you, okay? And so as far as inspectability goes, you hand the deck out multiple times and ask the spectator to shuffle. So they're never gonna feel the need to pull these cards back and inspect them. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? How good is the teaching? Um, Landon is mic'd in this, but um, just for me, he's just a little too far away from the camera. There were just too many times where I felt like I would rather have the camera zoom in, especially when we're talking about marking cards. I really wanted to see, okay, where these marks were going, what they look like. I don't know that they spent enough time on that for somebody that just wasn't paying attention, okay? So that's why I just wanna stress, pay attention, watch this through, make sure you understand where all these marks go. Um, so I would have appreciated a little bit more 
close-ups, uh, especially on the gimmick construction. I felt the camera was a little too far away, but again, it's shot in HD, it's well mic'd, doesn't have annoying background music, you'll like the video. After he goes through the gimmick construction, he will teach you some effects, okay? He'll show you the effects first, like in order, and then he'll go back through all of them uh, and then do the explanations for them. He's gonna do a trick on there called Full Control, where the magician allows a spectator to select any four of a kind and shuffle the cards, and then the magician cuts to all four cards. He has a routine on there called Omniscient, Again, it allows the spectator to shuffle the deck, and then uh, the magician proceeds to do kind of like a deck memorization routine, calls out suits, pips, uh, top cards, cuts to all four aces, etc. Uh, there's also an unnamed poker deal demonstration on there that I would check out. There's a trick on there called Homing Beacon, where he has a selected card uh, marked on the fly. So he actually tells you how to use a borrowed deck and then mark one specific card to turn it into a key card on the fly. There's an instant aces uh, trick where he cuts to all four aces. There's a trick that he does, which is based on out of this world. Uh, he does another thing on there called beyond a flourish where he cuts and shuffles and reveals all four aces. There's a trick on there called double estimation where a spectator shuffles and calls out either red or the black aces. And then you call out the exact position by number where those aces will be uh, stacked from the top and then you count down to those two aces and you're right. So as far as the explanations go and the effects, another thing I wanna say is a lot of this depends on your spectator. They shuffle the cards, right? They shuffle the cards. So you get the deck back in an order that you're not gonna know. So you really need to know your edge markings. You really have to have this memorized in order to do these effects because you're gonna get this deck back, you're gonna glance at it, right? Because you're not gonna sit there and stare at it and go, okay, where are the kings? Hang on a second. Uh, okay, I found them, right? You're gonna have to glance at it uh, quickly, find it, and then cut to these. So a lot of these tricks, he's teaching you like the, the overarching like framework of it, but he can't really go into the specifics because he doesn't know where those cards will be in your deck. So a lot of the things that he does in his tricks is he's moving very organically with the spectator. So if he gets the deck back and he sees, oh, all the aces are grouped together, I'll do the ace thing first, right? Or if I see two kings grouped together, I'll do a little something with the kings. So he's getting the deck back, examining it, and then he's moving on the fly. So it's almost like a trick in progress, okay? So for these kinds of effects, every single time you perform them, it'll be a different trick. So this is where the practice, 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 practice comes in, okay? The more time you put in, the more you're gonna get out of this. The more time you put in, the more time you practice, the more magical these effects will be. You're gonna look like you are more proficient at cards than you really are. That said, he does kind of expect you to have some proficiency with cards, and so that's why I would say this is at an intermediate level. He does reference slides, okay? He does reference slides and said, this is a good place to do a, you know, a false shuffle or a second deal. So he's not gonna teach you those moves. He's not gonna teach you those moves. He's just gonna reference them. This is probably better for somebody who's at an intermediate to advanced level. So positives and negatives real quick. Positives, again, like I said, you put the time in, it's gonna look like a miracle. It's gonna look like magic. This is what real card magic should look like. Negatives, I kind of felt like the camera was too far away from the, from the performer. I really wanted more close-ups, especially on the cards while they were being marked so that I could kind of see that through. Uh, is it worth your money? It's 40 bucks. $40, you're getting over an hour's worth of instruction and a deck of cards. It's definitely worth your money. Definitely worth it just for the instruction, just for the teaching and the knowledge that he's gonna impart. This is, these are all tricks from his working routines. He still does some of these tricks on a daily basis, so that's something special. When you get something special like that, it's gonna cost a little bit more. Definitely think it's worth your money. I think anybody who uses casino cards in their magic tricks right now, anybody that does gambling performances or shuffling demonstrations or, or anything like that is gonna love this. This is gonna fit seamlessly into a lot of the magic you do. You definitely wanna check this out. Add this to cart at hocus post Hocus.com. Thank you, Hocus Pocus, for allowing me to have this, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.